Yes, yes, come in, come in, come in. Have a seat anywhere. This is the one room in the country where we cannot be recorded. Can I take this mask off now? Oh, yeah. Do you know Avon Hertz? Avon Hertz. Yes, the Avon Hertz. Don't act all weird. I'm just a normal genius. I do very normal things like kite surf with presidents and date B-list actresses. I bleed real tears. This is real hair. I program and I have actual emotions. I'm sort of like one of those things that is good at lots of things. Why isn't this person talking? Just, uh, don't worry about it. Mr. Hertz took his first company public when he was 22 years old. Uh, 21 and three quarters. I was worth a billion five by the time I was 25. I'm trying to save the world, for fuck's sake, man, if it'll let me. Yvonne was helping the IAA, the government. Helping the government? I was trying to be the government. My work with artificial intelligence. Thinking only better. That's my slogan, by the way. I was trying to guide the government through a security and ethics nightmare it had stumbled into when whoosh, I'm told, no thanks. It's a fucking joke, but I'm not laughing. Uh, Avon is worried that someone's trying to start a war. I'm not worried about it. I'm certain of it. The only problem is I just don't know who exactly. And worse, Clifford doesn't know who. Uh, Clifford, that's his supercomputer. Ah. Uh, it's a neural network of supercomputers. Clifford is a problem-solving facility. Say hello, Clifford. You're embarrassing me, Avon. I'm blushing. Give Clifford data and no more problem. Clifford was on to something, but now the data is gone. Gone? It has to be the Russians. Or the North Koreans. Or the Iranians. Or the Chinese using a proxy agent. The fact is, if we cannot figure out who is behind these data breaches, then Clifford is useless. If we can get paid, of course we can help. There are three data thefts I need you to unbreach, rebreach, broach. I'm a natural communicator. I'm a. Uh... Yeah, you're getting off topic. No, this is the topic. How I've been treated. How I've been mistreated. It's an American tragedy. Kill the clever genius so that numbskulls could take cheap bribes. Yeah, I'll pay. I'll pay whatever it takes. We'll uh, need serious cash. Six figures, minimum. No problem. My share price is through the roof. Look, three problems. Three easy enough solutions. Could you stop talking like you're giving a keynote speech, please? Do I do that? Yes! Three data thefts. 250 trillion data points in enemy hands. Three simple solutions. One. Data courier. Murdered on the streets of Los Santos. Bodies at the morgue. Ah, uh, the morgue. You'll have to steal an ambulance to get in there. Old-fashioned. Analog. I love it. Retro. Problem two. Four of these vans are beaming vast amounts of previously secure military data. You'll need cars to track them down. I have a sort of friend who has some cars you can borrow here. Okay, that sounds easy enough. What's the third? The big new server farm in Palomino has been compromised. I'm certain of it. No one believed me, and I have no idea how to prove it. But if someone could get inside... Oh, just give me a minute. I know these uh, stealth helicopters. These things. Huh? <laughs> now, uh, Avon, these all do seem a bit random. Of course they seem random, because you are not a supercomputer. Clifford will solve it for us. Just give us more data about the data so we can data it. All right, well, um, get to work and good luck. Pleasure to meet you. You look nice in that shirt, Avon. I like your hair. Thank you. Progkillclifford.exe These cars are deluxos, and there's four of them. Gullwing doors, solid steel body panels, iconic 80s American design, perfect for our designs after a few modifications. They're in his locked garage. Deal with the security first, then get a hold of him. The signal's coming from a plane preparing for takeoff. Get to the runway! Come on! Get close and piggyback the transmission. Close for 
Okay, put off now. See? I told you they come back. Why do you do that? <laughs> because it makes me feel tingly inside. It's enjoyable. <laughs> yeah. So, Clifford and I analyzed the data. I mean, Clifford analyzed the data, and I analyzed Clifford. Uh, let me give you an example of my sort of thinking. Uh, could you stop it with the keynote thing? Uh, sorry. Can I make a call here? Hello? Who's this? I'm calling you from a top-secret former government facility. I told you, we told you, to return the civilian life, Avon. It was all a setup, shortstop. Shortstop? <laughs> I always wanted to call someone that. Listen, you're going to get us all killed. It's as clear as the very natural-looking hair on my head. What are you talking about? They're not plugs. Don't you see that the fact that they told you to fire me proves beyond all reasonable doubt that you were wrong and this is a conspiracy? Let me give you an analogy. Why are you talking like that? It really annoyed people when you were working on site. I'm a visionary. I see things. Listen, I'm running late to a departmental potluck, so... Fuck your potluck! This is about stopping a fucking war! Not that again. Goodbye, Avon. See you on planet Earth one of these days. Potluck? Of course. Of course, it's... it's now! It's fucking now! Clifford is right, the data is clear, it's right now! The entire department is out sharing meatloaf and potato salad so their base can be permanently shut down! We have to do something now! Right, well, we are a bunch of armed felons and you're breaking all kinds of security clearances and discussing the musings of a badly named computer. No police force in the world is going to believe us. You'll have to go there and stop it right now. I'll pay. I'll pay whatever it takes. It takes a lot. All right, off we go, huh? I'll keep you posted. Come on, let's go. Protocol. 
Uh, everything's fine. I know these people. Oh, I'm supposed to be at a potluck. Who were they? What the hell is going on? These nice people saved us. Now, we don't know each other, by the way, me and them. If you think you know me, you don't. Who do you work for? Can I get this place on lockdown right now? Come on, you imbeciles. No, there is no potluck. I don't give a shit about your banana cream pudding. Maybe next time you'll listen to me. What's this cretin doing here? Saving your life once again, but for the covert operation I financed, you'd all be dead and the country would be in the hands of, of, well, who exactly? That's the problem. This place has more leaks than a thing you dry salad in. But who and why? Can I log on to Clifford here? Sure. It's Russians. We know it's Russians. This attack is one of their signature moves. That's the whole point, Mrs. Rackman. It's meant to look like Russians. We think it's not Russians because that would be too easy. Now, Clifford says that there's a 99% probability it is some Russians. Not Iran? Iran, no. Clifford says, Clifford says it's this man. Codename Bogdan, surname unknown. Russian agitator, hitman, and war mongerer. Uh, I'm not buying any of it. Well, someone just tried to kill you and the data footprint tracks back to him. Look. Look at the graphics. Okay. Can we get some people on this right away? Where's that buffoon? Which buffoon? The one who caused the assault by the museum. Can I get some support here? Uh, let's get out of here. Uh, thank you. By both of you. A congressional medal. Big party at the Capitol. It's been an honor to serve. Oh, go fuck yourself. No, not you. Clowns. Public sector clowns. The cloud, the crowd, hell, the cleaners could solve this problem. With Clifford, there is no problem now. Thank you very much. I'll be in touch. Thank this, work this. Where's my assistant? I'm supposed to be giving a speech somewhere. <laughs>